hello there, and welcome back to Stuff and Things. So, I'm sorry to have to bring you this horrible news, but sitting there, watching all the YouTubes that you do, it's gonna kill you. It's gonna kill you bad. Okay, well, duh. Sitting all day in front of any sort of screen, whether it's a television screen or a computer monitor, and consuming more food than you need is clearly a bad thing. Well, they've done some research and did a study on children spending a lot of time in front of computer screens. In fact, they formed a super team called Team Prodigy, and there were researchers from Concordia University, Laval University, McGill University, University of Montreal, and the University of Ottawa. And they came together and formed a beautiful thing. Okay, it's just research and a study. It's not that beautiful, but it's enlightening. So basically what they did was they studied a big group of over 500 white kids between the ages of 8 and 10, who also had at least one obese parent. The children ended up wearing these accelerometers that would accurately tell them how much physical activity they did. And food intake was recorded for two of the weekdays and one of the weekend day. And they just did this study over the period of one week. Unsurprisingly, the study showed that there were correlations between low levels of HDL, or high density lipoprotein, which is the good cholesterol, and the amount of time sitting in front of a TV screen, or computer screen, or laptop, or phone, whatever, just sitting in general. And just in case you didn't know, HDL protects against heart disease. So it's a pretty serious thing when you're not treating your ticker properly. A lot of this bad cholesterol was associated with higher levels of eating while you're sitting in front of the TV or the computer. And I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that uh, the things that these kids were eating were probably chips and pop and candy. So not exactly the most nutritious of snacks. So I know that some of you might be sitting there thinking, well, what about when I sit and read a book? I'm not moving a whole lot while I'm sitting there reading a book or laying down or whatever position you happen to fancy reading books in. So book reading must be evil. But I'm here to tell you, dear gentle viewers, that no, book reading is not evil. In fact, book reading doesn't stimulate our is it a reflex? But our want for food intake. We sit there, we read the books, and we are so enthralled by the world and the characters. We don't need food. Books are our sustenance. Also, you know, television and the internet has all that fancy advertising for fast food. And I know for myself, when I read, I'm usually laying down, which is also healthier for your organs. Have you seen this infographic? There's like a ton of stuff on here on the horrible, horrible ways that sitting will eventually kill you. And it's just, it's horrible. Horrible. So the big question is, how do we get off of our butts and move? Well, in the case of children, like this study was based on, Pull outside with them, play with them, run around, play catch, do whatever. Your kids will follow in your footsteps or your butt steps. Although it's not really a step when you're just staying in one place. I personally like to take cues from my favorite books that are not about modern times. Like, you know, I like to get all Jane Austen up in the hisse and go outside and walk a lot when I can, when it's nice out. I'm picky about the weather, okay? Also, also it can't be too windy or too misty because my hair gets all super fuzzy. Yeah. Dan and I like to go outside and play badminton during the summer when it's not too windy out because you know, those shuttlecocks, they do not like the wind. You know, and I'm sitting here thinking that with all the e-readers and the tablets and our smartphones, why is it so difficult to go walk while you play Angry Birds or read a book? But when you do go out there for a walk, just make sure you pay attention to your peripherals because, you know, 
You don't, you don't want to get hit by cars or walk into people or dog poop. Dog poop's not fun. Nope. Um, and you know, look up when you're crossing the street. Look both ways. Before and during crossing. And then after that you can get back to fighting zombies. So what I'd like to know from you today is how do you guys stay off of your butts? What do you do for exercise or fun that includes physical stuff? It can be anything. Or maybe you work at your computer while you're standing up. Those standing up desks are pretty cool. Or what about one of those treadmill desks? Those are pretty awesome. I totally want one of those one day. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you later this week.